Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined today by the mayor of National City. His name is Ron Morrison. Glad to have him back on the show today. And I want to speak about transportation. All right. Not necessarily increasing gas tax or mm -hmm. other issues, Washington infrastructure programs. I want to talk about an uh, entity known as SANDAG. Right. What is SANDAG? Okay, that's an anachronism for San Diego Association of Governments. Mm -hmm. And so it combines a whole lot of different agencies and it's basically what they call an MPO, a Municipal Planning Organization, and it's also the Council of Governments. Mm. So it's all the cities in the county come together to make decisions. A lot of times they, they, people think that the County Board of Supervisors makes all the decisions in the county. They don't. They don't, they okay. only do the unincorporated area. Right, right, So then right. the cities do theirs, right. which is 84% of the population right. is in the cities. Right. So you got to have a body that brings them all together and to make these regional decisions. So, and that's what Sandag is. So to go back, we know that we're going to have an increase in the gas tax as right. a result of some legislation out of Sacramento. Mm -hmm. When that money comes down, will Sandag be the one that tries to figure out how that we money will, is spent? We will get some of that. Some of that. I some understand. of that will go to the local entities, the individual, right. whether it's the county or the cities. Sure. Some of it then goes to Sandag. A lot of it stays at the state level. So that begs the question. Mm -hmm. It's the makeup of Sandag. Yes. And what we know is as a result of legislation passed many years ago, uh, Sacramento can pass subsequent legislation with regard to how SANDAG is formulated. Correct. And so there's a bill that's pending. Uh, San Diego area Assemblywoman Gonzalez Fletcher is looking at uh, proposing this bill. She's already done it actually. Mm -hmm. What is she looking to do? <laughs> Talk to us. Uh, yeah. It really shakes things up. Okay. And, and I think it's an unnecessary bill in right. most part. There's some parts of it that we agree to. Right. But in the larger parts, it is something which is both unnecessary and in my opinion, destructive for the region. So let's talk about what the law is now. Okay. Right now, so you've got San Diego, Chula Vista, National City, Escondido, you've sure. got all these different cities. How is the voting done okay. now? Well, Two different things. Each each municipality and the unincorporated they choose who their representative will be Got on. Got it. So that starts off that, and everyone gets one seat at the table, with the exception of the city of San Diego gets two, okay. and the county gets two. Okay. All the other cities get one. Okay. And then any vote that goes forward, it has to pass two tests at the same time. One thing it has to have a majority of the voting members. So that so, would be 19 members. So you need to get. Ten. If all of them are present, you'd need to get ten votes, okay. and you get to have you have to have a majority of the population. Ah, so at that's the weighted. same time. So that's weighted. It's a weighted vote, and it's a and it's a, a jurisdiction vote at the same time. That protects the big cities, so right. that uh, all the little cities don't gang up on the big cities, and that protects but the, the little, little cities. cities. Could gang up on the big cities with the first test, right. which is the vote where right. you need to get ten out of nineteen. Right. But, but in some, look, that's how we have it in the Senate and the House. But in, they couldn't pass it. See, they could not pass it by themselves because of the big cities with the population. Right. It kills it. So it, it's, it, it protects both right. sides. So it's a checks and balance. It's much like the Senate right. and, and the right. House of Representatives all combined. So Ms. Gonzalez Fletcher wants essentially to adopt a House system. A house system All only. All population. The voting would be done by population. Population, but instead of it being population like nationwide, you're only population by jurisdiction. Okay. So in this, in this case, you would have San Diego, City of San Diego, and Chula Vista. Is would that 50 plus one right there? Uh, yes, that very, 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 that very easily could be, or the county. In other words, the City of San Diego and the county. Right. They the would, county unincorporated. Yes, right. the unincorporated. Right. Uh, there, therefore, you could have two entities or three entities. Right could basically run and the other 16 might as well not even show up. And the question becomes, if this passes, I mean, do you have to be a member of SANDAG? I, I mean, I could see, forget it, we're, we're, not, we're not involved. If, if we can't uh, have any no, involvement. No, by state law, we're involved. You have to be. But, but why would you show up? Why right. would you even go? You know, what would be the rationale? Right now, we, we've got a, a very cooperative county-wide. Right. I mean, the cities, everything, we work together, we learn ho how to compromise well, and how to work these things. But that's the question. I mean, if you work together well now, right. is there anything to say that you won't if this passes? Be very difficult because mm -hmm. this is a very divisive bill because now it's putting all the power into just a couple people's hands. Right. So uh, what has San Diego said? The city? San Diego is being very quiet. They haven't said anything. Yeah. Chula Vista? Is being very quiet. Mm -hmm. And all the other cities are being very loud. Right. Like yours. <laughs> you've, written, you've written a letter. 
and you wrote a letter yes, to yes. Ms. Gonzalez Fletcher yes, our, with our, your opposition. Yes. Here's one area that I find interesting. I can understand the arguments mm. for uh, that Ms. Gonzalez Fletcher is proposing. Mm. You know, not, whether I agree or not, it's sure. not important, but I see where she's going. Part of the bill requires that the member from National City, let's say, only be the mayor. It can't right. be a council right. member. I, I'm, I'm challenged w with the arguments on that one in that, look, I understand where you may want the top official, but mayors are rotating, you have mm. part-time councils. I'm not really sure where we're going with this. Um, yeah, you know, her deal is, is for a level of accountability, which sounds really good. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, that way, every city, you know that your mayor is the one who's up, out there doing it. But your There's, mayor may be a firefighter. Well, that's the problem. And they may not be available. This is what I brought up to her. Because it's a part-time council. Yeah, well, we have 18 mayors, and f only four of them are full-time. I'm one of the full-timers. Okay. There's only four that are full-time. The other, the other 14 are part-time. Right. So it doesn't work. You know, and at the same time, you may have a mayor that has no interest in regional issues. That he's he may be more the pothole mayor, and sure. he may have a council member that that is their passion. That's 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 their expertise. So why? So it should be, and I, I've suggested right. this to her that it should be the mayor or the mes, mayor's designee. All the other regional appointments are mayoral appointments, except for Sandeg, right? Because the state law says it is a council appointment. And this begs the problem. A lot of times, when a council gets on the wrong side of their mayor, right. they jerk their mayor off a of sand egg. I understand. Why is this bill being floated right now? Do you know? Is there well, something going on in Sandag? I mean, I do know yes. there's been some controversy. There's, there is a, uh, uh, there's been some controversy has been brought up, and it was over some, uh, um, some forecasting, right. forty year long forecasting, and. You know, and so it went back and took a look, and we did find. I mean, it, it, there's all this information comes in mm -hmm. from all these different agencies, and you know, uh, UCLA School of Economics. All these different ones bring all this different information, and it's like this monster Excel sheet. I mean, it's hundreds of columns wide, hundreds of columns deep, and we found out that six years ago, when they were tabulating and, and entering all that, that two different entries on two uh, different mm -hmm. uh, boxes got reversed, which normally you would not see that over, if you look over a year to by year basis, five year, 10 year, you go out 40 years and it compounds out. And so it does make a difference. And so the controversy is people are saying, well, somebody knew that and therefore they're lying to us. Mm -hmm. So what we have done just to dispel this whole thing, we've went out and hired the law firm of uh, Houston Hannigan, mm -hmm who is the law firm that did the investigation for Enron. I had a feeling you were going to say that. And, right? you know, and so followed through the first So do forensic accounting. Look what, yeah. And so, we, so these people are used to doing this kind, of, this kind of work, and they have no ties here locally, mm -hmm. and they are bulldogs. We said, we've hired them. We said, go, you investigate Tell us all what you happened. Want. You bring it out in a public document, mm -hmm. and let's, you know, if someone did something wrong, let's do with that. Let's take care of that. If someone didn't, then let's shut up all these people that are going around right, making all these right. wild claims. But so, so that has been kind of the, 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 the impetus that got this going. So she's asking for an audit committee, which we already have an audit committee, a right. financial one. She wants a performance one also. We can certainly work with that. Okay. The other thing that she's asking for is that our, by state law, the transit agencies cannot ask for a sales tax of their own. And so she's got that in there. We said, fine, let them. We have no problem with that. If the transit agencies want to have a transit only mm -hmm. sales tax, you know, MTS and also North County sure, Transit. Sure. If they, you want to do that, fine, but that's, that's not under our right, control, that's under right, state control. Right. So there's a couple of areas in there that we can agree to, but this idea of blowing up sand egg and then so putting So you feeling as if there will be a compromise? We ho certainly hope so. Right. And right. Uh, you know, right now it's skirmishes in the uh, assembly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we fully expect it's going to go through the assembly, that's not even a question. Well, we'll see what happens yeah. in the end though. In the end, his name it's, that's is exactly. Ron Morrison. He is the mayor of beautiful National City, California, here in San Diego County, where we are today. My name is Brad Palmer. I am so glad you're with us on Local Edition.